What's up, guys? I've received two major pools or categories of melee-based weapons questions that it, since the beta has been coming out, and I'll try and answer one. One of them I can answer for sure. One of them I can't answer definitively. The first one is, of course, if you look at the melee weapons, there's a whole section of some weapons where um, they're just locked and you don't really have access to them unless you took advantage of that bug in the website earlier in the week that sort of gave you the option of unlocking them even though you didn't actually you have the kit rank needed so with regard to unlocking them i can't say definitively as much as i've tried scouring the internet one thing a couple of things i can't answer for sure they're absolutely unlockable a lot of people said oh well it's just the beta they're not unlockable apparently they are uh but the issue has come with this uh, progression bug in the beta and if you don't know what it is basically if you play a match you'll get progression for your kit. But if you stay in that same server and continually play in that same server over and over, it, is, it does not count towards your progression for your kit. That's been a nasty bug going around. So because of that bug, we've had issues definitively locking down how to unlock the melee weapons. Some people have been saying that it's through using a lot of actual melee kills, but I don't think that's the case because I've gotten a couple of them unlocked and I have barely any melee kills to speak of. Uh, and the second one, uh, or the second suggestion, is that you have to basically reach a high rank on one kit and their universal weapons in order to unlock. And I'm not sure that's the case either, because my scout kit rank is like 8 right now, and I still don't have 3 of them unlocked. Maybe I have to reach 10? I'm not sure. So it might be universal for all kits. And the third one, of course, is that... Uh, that maybe they're tied to specific kits. So if you get uh, kit rank three or five among all of the classes, then maybe it'll unlock certain ones that are tied to a specific class. If you know the answer to that, please let me know in the comment section because it's been driving me nuts. I, I have no real interest in unlocking all the melee weapons, but uh, I imagine a lot of the community would. So if you know the answer to that for sure, shoot it in the comments. That would be very, very welcome. The second question I can't answer for sure which I'll get to, is the extras and the little icons featured underneath some of the individual melee weapons. Now, with regard to going into the customized screen here, first thing you're going to see under the melee section, again, with these extra icons, the first one here, of course, is a saw blade. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say of course, actually, because I think that was the majority part of the confusion among the community as to just what this symbol meant, but it's a saw blade. So logically, what do saw blades do? You cut wood. So this helps you a lot in, say, clearing some sort of wood obstruction, something blocking your way, something getting in the way, and also taking out, like, the window, the shutters of the windows to give you a new vantage point. Look out there, maybe you want to try and snipe somebody running by. The second one here isn't available on the hatchet, as the example I used earlier, but it would be for the pickaxe. It's sort of a tank icon. What that really is, is it's called armor but it's not exactly all armor. Uh, believe me, I've tried hitting a tank with a pickaxe, just as you'll see in the video a few times. It doesn't work, only gets you killed. So it doesn't work for heavy armor, but it, apparently it does work for light armor. So something like uh, those light armored trucks or something of that sort, it might output some damage. And I'm thinking maybe stationary placements, if those count as armor, though I haven't actually tested that out. So if someone has tested that, shoot it in the comments. Last one here, uh, you'll have to do it to go back to the hatchet again here, that is barbed wire. So again, hacking at that barbed wire and knocking it out gives you and your teammates a way to not get slowed down or damaged by that pesky wire and it's especially helpful in say a rush environment where you're trying to push in all at once in an area that's behind a flank and the only thing blocking your way is that barbed wire, cut it down. So, but the thing to notice, if it doesn't actually have these extra icons highlighted, so say for example you're looking at the trench knife with nothing highlighted, those three benefits on the trench knife will not be to your benefit. Not all weapons, melee weapons, are created equally, so keep that in mind. My two favorites are the ones I have unlocked anyway. I've been using the uh, pickaxe and the hatchet as my two of choice. Have a good one, YouTube.